wouldn't do these dishes. Hey, you wanna make your housemates really mad? Okay, so this is literally for fun, but if you're really desperate, just print out a picture of the bottom of your sink and place it on top of all your dishes and they'll think you've done the dishes. Greatest hack ever, right? Okay, enough procrastinating. Time to get through the pre-reading for class tomorrow. What a drag. So if you have way too much stuff to read, what? How many pages? And for some reason you can't focus, like me all the time. Then let Google do the work for you. Mia, Mia help me. Just copy and paste whatever you need to read straight into Google Translate and set the language to English or whatever your native language is. Then just hit the talk button and Google will read out your article essay just like an audiobook. And noble creatures that have enchanted young and old across the globe and through the ages. They are both a symbol of purity and goodness and the personification of untamed freedom. This is a super useful lazy hack if you're better at listening to things than reading things. Just be careful not to get too lazy and fall asleep. So this is by far the easiest way to hack a messy bun and it works for me every time. Just get a sock that you don't use anymore and cut off the toe section and then roll it up until it looks like a band or a, a sock donut maybe. I'm going to braid a piece of hair to one side because I want to show you guys how different a messy bun can look by just adding this one extra element but you can totally skip this if you'd like. Next tie your hair up in a ponytail and you can do it high or low depending on where you want your bun to sit. Grab your sock donut and pull the ends of your hair through, split it around the sides and then start rolling your hair around it all the way up the ponytail. Keep flipping it up and your hair will literally cover up your sock donut and it'll end up looking like a perfect messy bun and you won't be able to know that there's actually a sock underneath. The amazing thing is that the elasticity of the sock actually does a really great job in holding the bun together without any hair ties, but you can use some bobby pins to tidy up any parts that are sticking out or secure it if you want to neaten it up as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. How cute is this look guys? I love how the braid just makes it look so elegant and by adding some flowers in this, you could totally even wear this to a wedding or a special occasion and all in under 5 minutes. Gotta do the dishes. This is really gonna stick on the plate. Yeah, maybe this will wait a bit. That was so good. I'm just gonna lie down for a little bit. Hey, sleepyhead. You know you don't have to wash that dish ever again in your life. Wanna find out how? Alright, come with me. Let's be real guys, no one enjoys doing dishes and we gotta be somewhat civilized sometimes. So try using cling wrap on the bottom of your plate. This is so good for foods that are super sticky and hard to wash off or are just hard to wash off because you just don't do the dishes in time. Plus I think it's way better than using tons of paper plates. Once you're finished eating, just simply peel it off and throw it away and your plate is clean, no washing, so awesome. How many of you guys wear glasses or contacts? Well, if you regularly get your eyes checked, then well done to you. But if you're like me and are just way too lazy to get them checked regularly, you might find yourself in this situation. Hmm, I wonder what's on special today. Eh? What's that? Roast children? No, that doesn't sound right. Instead of getting your eyes checked like a normal person, you can just take out your phone, take a picture of the menu, and then zoom in on your phone screen to read what it says. Ugh, I'm so hungry. I guess you'll do for now. What the? Why do these tags even exist? Ugh, honestly. There, that'll teach you.
Alas, that's how paper is made. Isn't that interesting? Who knew there were so many facts about paper? So the homework for this week will be to write an essay about why paper is so important to... Wenji, why are you texting in class again? Young lady, you're staying back today and you'll be writing a hundred times I will not text in class. Is that understood? Poor Wenji, always getting in trouble. Luckily, this pencil hack will save her a ton of time. Just take a bunch of pencils, line them up, and hot glue them all together like this. You'll only really need two rows of the hot glue, but I wanted mine to be a little bit more sturdy. And don't worry, you can still take them apart if you're careful, so this isn't necessarily permanent. So now, whenever you write one line, you actually write five lines, which means you'll be done in no time. Also, you can do this with colored pencils as well for some cool artistic effects. Or even draw a rainbow. I always say that it's the laziest people that come up with the best inventions. Lazy hacks for the win. much easier way. So if you can't be bothered to check on your food, just FaceTime your oven. Simply just call your phone from your computer, then go over and tape it onto your oven door with the camera side facing in, and then turn the light on so you can see what you're baking, and just keep it on your screen in the corner while you're watching Netflix and uh, relaxing and doing whatever you'd like, and you'll never burn anything again, and you don't even have to get up. How cool is that? Hey Wenji, I need those veggies washed, remember? You said you'd do it two hours ago. Okay, mom, fine. So many. Mm. Yep, I am that lazy. I'd actually use a dishwasher to wash my vegetables. Obviously, this is a joke. Or is it? You might think this seems like a huge waste of water, but apparently just using the rinse cycle without detergent for most dishwashers only uses about one gallon of water. However, leaving a running faucet on in the sink uses about two gallons of water per minute. Now I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd be able to wash all these vegetables in 30 seconds. So even though this idea started out as a complete joke, I could actually be a genius. What do you guys think? Oh, I can't keep my eyes open. If only... Ah, uh, my arms are tired. Can, can I lean it on this table? Ugh, I give up. Just go to sleep. Don't worry, my lazy ones. You can easily make your own iPad or iPhone stand anywhere with a flat surface. I'm totally going to make mine on the side of my bedside table because horizontal washing is the best. Mark out where your iPad or iPhone will sit. Then simply grab three wall hooks that are wide enough to hold your iPad and then stick them on in an alternating pattern. You can do four hooks or three like this. Then once it's done, just slip your iPad in and, oh my gosh, look at it. This is so awesome, guys. I am in love. Who doesn't love hash browns? But cooking them in the oven when you're in a rush in the morning can really test your patience and hunger. So instead, an awesome way to save time and effort is to use a waffle maker instead. Just pop your hash brown inside and it'll be perfectly cooked in a few minutes. Mmm, hash browns. So hungry, but too hungry to cook. Wish food would just appear. Oh, maybe I can just order in. Oh, the phone's too far away. 
So lazy people gotta eat too. So I have some one minute microwave mug cooking recipes, which is the epitome of laziness. And not only are they super tasty, take no preparation time, and are also vegan friendly, they're also very, very healthy. The first recipe is a lentil pizza in a mug. Simply pour three to four tablespoons of canned mixed beans or however much you like to eat. This is way healthier than the traditional dough and lower in calories as well. Then add in your choice of toppings. I use capsicum and mushrooms, a pinch of Italian herbs, and then spoon in one tablespoon of marinara sauce or you can use pasta sauce. And then finish off with one tablespoon of mozzarella cheese or vegan cheese. Then pop it in the microwave for one minute and that is literally it. Sprinkle some salt and pepper on top to taste and no more way. Next for dessert we have a chocolate mug cake and it cooks in less than one minute. It's also vegan and low fat. Seriously, best combo ever. You'll need two tablespoons of wholemeal self-raising flour, one tablespoon of caster sugar or natural sweetener, a tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons of almond milk or I tried soy milk as well, one teaspoon of coconut oil, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can also add chocolate chips as well to your liking. Next, bake in the microwave on high for 40 seconds. If it's still a little bit raw inside, you can throw it in for another 10. And if you like, you can add some ice cream or mixed berries and that will make it complete. So you know those times in class where you just can't keep your eyes open? Like either the class is super boring or maybe you just stayed up way too long the night before studying <clears throat> or binge watching Riverdale or cat video. Not judging, just saying, you do you. Well, this next super lazy hack might be what you need. First, you'll need some glasses. First, put them on and take some photos of yourself. Next, print out those photos and cut out each of the glasses panels. <laughs> Use some glue and stick them straight onto your actual glasses. And you'll have this ridiculous looking pair of glasses. Honestly, you might have to try this a few times to get the color and the proportions looking perfect. As you can see, I look like a bit of a freak here. But it could totally work if you spent a little more time matching it. Or just kind of sat towards the back of the class. So now you'll be able to catch up on some much needed sleep whilst looking like you're paying attention. Warning, this will 9 times out of 10 not work and most likely get you in trouble. Use as a joke only. Don't say I didn't warn you. A great way to keep track of them is to use a Tic Tac container, which is super cute and gives you an excuse to buy more Tic Tacs. Another thing you can do is to stick a magnetic strip on the side of an accessories holder on your dressing table or anywhere really like on the wall on your mirror and the magnet will just hold them in place neatly until you're ready to use it and plus when you take them out at night you have somewhere to put them as well instead of just throwing it on the table or on the bed which is what I usually do. And my bobby pins have never looked so neat before in my whole entire life. I don't know about you, but I generally like to keep my fridge pretty full, which can sometimes lead to me forgetting about leftovers only to find them months later. Ugh. Another problem I have is trying to figure out what I've put at the back of the fridge. It doesn't help that I'm short as well. So next time, instead of struggling to figure out what you put in the back of your fridge six months ago, just use a Lazy Susan. Just pop it in one or more compartments and put your sauces or bottles or whatever you want on it. Now whenever you want to grab something from the back, just give it a spin and voila! It's right in front of you. This hack is honestly so good and kind of mesmerizing to look at. Uh, okay, moving on. I love watching shows on my laptop in bed. I actually can't even remember the last time I sat down to watch something. But honestly, guys, after a while, I get tired no matter what position I'm in. Either my neck gets sore or my arms get tired. But I found these awesome 90 degree viewing glasses online and I had to buy them. Basically, you put them on and it lets you see things at a 90 degree angle. So you can lie completely flat and still watch your favorite shows without exerting any energy at all. Hashtag lazy corns forever, right? Uh. Uh. 
Don't you hate it when your favorite shirt gets worn out and holes start appearing? Hey, don't judge. I love Batman, okay? So basically, you gotta either stitch it up or throw it out. But I have a super lazy hack for you guys. Just take some duct tape and stick it on the inside of your shirt and then use a sharpie to color in the tape. This works best with black clothes, but you can also use colored sharpies for colored clothes as well. Just remember to remove the tape before you put it in the wash. I love this amazing hairstyles I see on Pinterest, but I always feel like they're so difficult and time consuming that I never thought I could do one. But here's a super easy pull out braid for you guys that you can do in five minutes and it looks so amazing, you never guess how easy it was. And plus, you don't even need to know how to braid. All you need are just some small clear elastic bands and a clip. Now just take a small section of hair from the top of your head and tie it into a ponytail. Clip it up and take the remaining top section from around your temples, pull it back and tie it just under your first ponytail. Unclip the first ponytail, split it in half and then flip your second one up and clip it. Next add some more hair into the first ponytail and then tie it again just under your second ponytail. Do the same thing and unclip your previous section, split it in half and then pull your new section up through the middle and clip. I like to call this process the split and clip. Now take the remaining hair and tie it into the ponytail and you should have no loose hair left at this point. Now repeat the split and clip process all the way until you reach the end of your hair. Also at this point you want to note that the two sections that you've created should have a similar amount of hair in them. So if you have one much thicker than the other then your braids may look a little bit uneven but you may like that it's completely up to you. Once you finish the split and clip just tie the ends together with elastic band and we're gonna start pulling apart this braid to make it look fuller, thicker and super amazing. Simply start at the top section of the braid and pull it apart with your fingers. You want to keep the middle intact to try and hide your elastic bands but feel free to pull out the edges of the braid as much as you want. Then work your way all the way down until you're happy with it. You can make it messy, you can make it neat, it's really up to you and you can make it look however you like. You can leave the front of your hair as is but I like to pull out some bits to really soften up the look and now you're done. I found this so straightforward to do and oh my gosh, how pretty does this look? Oh, but I just got to this chapter. It's so good. I don't want to put it down. Okay, if I don't reply, then maybe she'll think that I'm not here. Okay, I'll do it. Hey there. You know you don't actually have to vacuum, right? So sometimes you just don't want to vacuum right now, but someone wants you to. All you need to do is find a vacuum soundtrack on YouTube or somewhere and play it on your phone or speaker under the door. And you can continue doing whatever is more urgent right now, like reading and then just vacuum later. Or not if they don't notice. Lazy squad. It's super important to stay hydrated guys, but don't you find coffee tables really awkward? Like you gotta lean so far forward just to pick up or put down your cup. I don't know, it could just be me because I'm super lazy, but it's frustrating right? So I actually DIY'd this huge long straw out of several smaller straws, just using some tape, and now I can sit back and drink whenever I want without ever having to get up. This hack actually has another secret use as well. Check this out. Oh my god, what to do? I already have like 10 minutes. Think. <laughs> you look like you could use some help there. Ah! Can you, can you hold my hair dryer for me while I do my makeup? Uh, what do you think I am? I'm literally just your imaginary friend. Oh. But I have an idea. 
Honestly guys, I thought this was a little bit silly when I saw it, but this is actually awesome and it totally works. Just pop your hair dryer into a drawer to hold it up, or you can stick one of those hair drying holder rings on a wall somewhere. It might take a bit of time to find a good angle for the hair dryer, but this is something I can definitely see myself doing because I am always late. Or if you're not late and you're just lazy like me, you can use this hack to dry your hair while going on your phone. So yeah, totally sign me up for this one. Mmm, you get. Help you with that. Did you know you can totally make a spoon out of from your yogurt lid? Just peel it off, lick off the top, <laughs> then simply fold it in half and the edges over in the middle on both sides like this. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Then do it again and again until it gets so narrow you have a handle. Now just curve the front and you can actually twist the handle as well to keep it in place and voila! spoon. Careful though, the edges can be pretty sharp, so I literally just lick it off like this, avoid cutting my tongue, but this is so awesome when you're super lazy or desperate and you don't have a spoon, plus you can just throw it away afterwards and you don't need to wash anything. Bonus! Oh my gosh, no clean balls. What am I gonna do? This super lazy hack is for when you're using the last serving of milk. By cutting the top off your milk bottle, you've now made your own cereal bowl with milk already inside. Then when you're done eating, you can just throw your bowl away with no cleanup. Warning, the lazy meter is extremely high with this hack. I really don't like putting away my clothes, but I've got a pretty cool shirt folding hack for those lazy people out there. You can basically fold any shirt in two seconds. Just pick up the shirt here and here, lift the corner up here, and then pick it up here and you're done. Want to see that again? Now that you've neatly folded all your clothes like a ninja, you can go back to being a lazy blob. What? What are you doing here? Uh, I don't think I need your help right now. I'm, I'm pretty good. You think you're good, but... Grab a hoodie and wear it back to front. Remember to do up the string and zip up the back as well for extra security. And you have the perfect popcorn ball in front of your face. Now you can enjoy hands-free eating. Are you serious? That sounds ridiculous. Suit yourself. Oh my god, this is amazing. I don't use hands, I can use my phone. Who invented this? Oh my god, I think Pretty Little Liar is on. Damn it! I swear I left the remote on the couch. Why does this always happen when I need it? Fine, I'll just watch what's on. What is this? How to build your own shed. Huh? Yeah, I guess I'll need a shed one day. Why not? Or you can use your phone. You're welcome. You know you can download remote apps that'll turn your phone into a universal remote. Simply program it for all your things you need and you never have to look for your remote ever again. Don't you hate it when you're studying and you just want an easy way to clip your hair up from your face but your clip keeps slipping off? Sometimes clips are just made of super slippery plastic material just, that just won't grip to your hair. 
but don't throw them away yet. You can easily improve the grip by getting a hot glue gun and gluing the inside of each tooth with a strip of hot glue. When it dries, it will work like those clips you can buy from the store with the non-slip ends that are probably twice the price. So I just saved you homebodies some money and a trip to the drugstore.